Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at simple interest. Um, this is part two of this particular mini video series, but basically we're going to find... Uh, well, I should really explain that after this intro. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. <music> terrible, terrible. But anyway, here we go. Uh, so what we're doing is we're going to actually work out what the simple interest after five years is, and then we're going to add that on to 7,000. So our first step is to work out what 3.5% of 7,000 is. And to do that, we're going to use the calculator. So we've got 3.5 divided by 100, because that is what percentage into fraction is. We're going to multiply it by 7,000. And when we do this, we are getting $245. Now that's what 3.5% uh, is. So of course, it's being invested. Uh, we're trying to figure out what's it worth after five years. So we're going to go two hundred and forty five dollars. We're going to multiply it by five. And when we do this, we are going to get one thousand two hundred and twenty five dollars. So the investment after five years. So what we're going to say is after five years, it is going to be seven thousand plus one thousand two hundred and twenty five which equals $8,225. It's a fairly decent bit of interest there. Um, all right, so uh, of course you gotta pay tax, but that's a different story. Question two, we're looking at Sarah invested 3,000, uh, simple interest rate of 4%, and what will be the total amount after three years? So we've got 4% of 3,000 first, and let's figure out what that is. So 4% of 3,000, so I'm gonna go four divided by 100, and I'm going to multiply it by 3000 and that's going to give me $120. And of course, this is being done for three years. So I'm going to do 120 times three, which equals to $360. And then finally, I'm going to add $3,000 plus the $360, which is going to give me $3,360. Now, that's what the total amount is after three years. All right, so with question three, what I might do is I might just give you folks some time to try this question out, uh, and then I'll go through the answer. Hopefully there was a pause that was long enough, but here we go. So what we've got is 2% of 8,000. That's what we need to work out first. 2% of 8,000, we're gonna work that out first. So we've got two out of 100, because that's what 2% is, multiplied by 8,000. Is that $160? Yep, that's $160. And then what we're going to do is with that 160, we are going to look at for uh, six years. So 160 times six, that's over six years. We get $960. And then finally, after six years, we're going to have to add 8,000 plus 960, which is equal to $8,960. So as you can see, folks, um, with these uh, kind of simple interest questions, you know, you work out you work out the simple interest um, depending on how many years you want it for, uh, multiply it, and then you just add it to the original amount to kind of show what the investment will be after a certain period of time. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.